So let's get into the big question. And uh, the Papa Lunchbox is off on uh, uh, Papa Lunchbox uh, uh, excursions this week. So uh, we uh, default to Mad Mike had a very interesting question he went to share with us. And I think it's going to be a very thought provoking one. Yeah. Um, so as you can tell from the first couple of segments, there's some frustration happening. <laughs> um, so I was thinking if we had to rebrand our own wrestling company and let's say we start with four people. OK, uh, the, the big question this week, if you had to rebrand. Uh, your own company, one person from WWE, one person from TNA, one person from NXT, and one person from Ring of Honor, who would you choose? Do you want me to go first, Sork? Sure. All right. I'll give you guys a little bit more time to think. Um, mine, uh, from WWE, I would take Cesaro because the man is a genetic freak. He can do anything and uh, he works good as heel or babyface and can get a good crowd reaction. Uh, from TNA, naturally, I'm going to take Ethan Carter for a lot of the same reasons. Uh, he's also a great uh, guy who can work the mic. Uh, from Ring of Honor, I will take Cedric Alexander. Mm -hmm. I, I really, really dig Cedric's work. Um, he's really good in ring. He's developing a nice little heel character, and I really, really am engaged in his stuff. And uh, from NXT, it's a tough call, but I think I will take Emma. Ooh, because oh, I think Emma, Emma has been vastly underutilized. Uh, her heel character is now crushing it, in my opinion. Uh, the, bubbly, the bubble character that when she started was very one-note, and Santino kind of killed it along with the little iPad fiasco, but her heel character I think is on point and she's having a lot of fun with it now and I think she's really kind of settled into her role. Okay. I like that. I, I think I have one lined up here. Okay. Uh, one, I got it. I think EC3 is makes sense. It, it, I think is the most interesting thing that's been on that show in the past two years. Um, mm -hmm. It was entertaining when he was on NXT, even more so now, just, just over the moon on him, right? So he's the easy one. I would go with Seth Rollins. He is the future. He is. Uh, I think he's going to be the your, your monster heel. I'm going to go with Jay Lethal because again, he is just leaps and bounds, especially over the last few years. Can I can I get an add on? Can we get Truth Martini just because I want him to tell me more oh. stories about pissing off people in Canada? Fantastic. Since I'm assuming Beta <laughs> Scott, since I'm assuming Beta Scott would follow Cedric, yeah, we'll allow that. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. Well, you, you got some beta in there. Uh, so no, again, he's he just doing tremendous, tremendous stuff in there, like beyond what I imagine Jay Lethal could do over all these years, right? I, I mean, to to have a comeback like he has had from the uh, Black Machismo character is just blows my mind, absolutely. Um, you know, it could have been just like like the guy that he's the Hurricane for the rest of his career. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but he's not. not the, nothing against uh, Shane Helms. But, you know, it, it could have gone that way, and, but not from as successful of a top spot what Hurricane had. Oh, and uh, let's see, East 3, Lethal, Rollins, and I'm going to go Finn Balor. I think there's a lot Ooh. of potential there, and, and hopefully, my new, hopefully my new promotion has a lot of production value. <laughs> and they have a lot of fun with it, as we're seeing WWE I, is. I Sorg, do you realize you just picked all of the champions? No, I didn't. Essentially, no, essentially, I didn't. Essentially, yeah. EC3, EC3 just lost a belt like on Sunday. I know. I, you know, I wasn't even thinking about belts. But, hey, I yeah, guess so. But yeah, you got Lethal, Rollins, Finn, and EC3 who literally just lost I did just. Champion. I did just pick like the top pick of the, the card. champions and just go. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But, but when is the last time you've looked at the wrestling landscape and seen this number of people on top like this that freaking deserved it? Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I get, it, it, there's no slouches in any of that, you know? There's no, well, of course John Cena's got the belt again. Not that he didn't earn it, but, like, of course he's got it again, you know? Mm -hmm. like, like, these are four names that have arrived in the last year, mm -hmm. and it's pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, no, I completely did that by accident. I was just thinking, like, well, who's, who comes to mind? And, and, and I guess it was a little, a little easier than I expected. Sorry about that. So, uh, who's got the next one? I'll go if no one else. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, from the WWE, I would go with, with Roman Reigns. And now I know that he's got some, you know, concerns and he's had some issues with how he's been booked and, and presented. But I think as far as 
raw talent goes, marketable look goes. Um, I, I, he's proven he can go in the ring. And I think that one of the great advantages he has that why wouldn't take maybe like a Kevin Owens or, um, you know, Cena or someone like that is he is probably suffered fewer injuries. And I, and I think that he would be a good long-term investment that you would get. You have a lot of, you know, very fruitful years uh, ahead of him. So Roman Reigns would be from the WWE from NXT. I agree with Zorg. I'm going with Finn Balor. I think that he has the potential to be the next Shawn Michaels. I think that he has the potential to be that across demographics appeal where the, uh, you know, the guys will love him because he's an amazing wrestler, amazing performer, uh, and can just bell to bell go a hundred percent. Uh, I think the girls will love him because, you know, he looks like a million bucks and the kids will love him because of the face paint. And, um, you know, he's just, he's one of those people that can appeal to everyone in the crowd. Um, from TNA, uh, who? <laughs> Davey Richards. Okay. I think they, I mean, and you know, okay. I, that's a little bit biased because I have had, you know, been kicked in the head by him. But uh, I, just from, from <laughs> first, you have, you have a kinship. From firsthand experience, as far as just somebody who ups, like, in the ring can go at, on a level that I had never seen firsthand. Um, amazing shape, amazing intensity, uh, and really has proven, you know, with his, uh, his, his run at ring of honor could prove he could be a, a, a top guy. And, uh, I think he, he's, he's got the skills and the talent to be a top guy, uh, anywhere ring of honor, uh, Adam Cole, I think, uh, sort Ooh, of same, yes. uh, same yeah. logic with, uh, with, uh, Rollins. I mean, not with Rollins, but, uh, the same logic with uh, Roman Reigns, where uh, I, I think that Jay Lethal is fantastic, but I think that as far as healthy, productive years in front of him, I mean, Adam Cole's Adam Cole's younger than I am. And uh, just not only is he, is he fantastic, he's going to be fantastic for many, many years to come. So uh, maybe not going with the most obvious, but I'll go with uh, building for the future. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. we, we also got one. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go a little backwards. I'm going to go Ring of Honor first, and I'm going to go ACH. Mm. And basically the same with that thought of what Chris was saying with uh, about his choice in Ring of Honor is because of the youth and this drive and everything, and just watching his inner, how excited he is when he gets on that mic with uh, Kevin Kelly and all them. He it, he can get that crowd Sorry. in the palm of his hands if he wants, mm -hmm. and that that would be one of my guys. Plus, I mean, you got to support a brother. So, <laughs> 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 so <laughs> yeah, let's be fair. Sorry, if if you it. if you weren't doing that this week, LB would be doing the same right now. Hey, hey I said Cedric Alexander. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you didn't yeah. state right supporting there. a brother. Well, no, I, mean, I, I felt that would be inappropriate, but... Well, that's all right. <laughs> I'm on a show. It's all right, Mike. Um, all right, let's go NXT. I'm going to go with... Uh, honestly, Bailey. Okay. I love Bailey. She, she, she surprised me from when I started watching her. I'm like... Oh, she's adorable, and I could. This is just cute to watch. But you see her work, and it's like, not only looks, but talent. So, and that's what you want in a women's division. You want looks and talent. You just don't want looks. Because believe me, if you have looks, you have Summer Rae. You have. Hey, hey, Whoa. Summer. That's that's that's. That's, that's I, low. I I'm sorry, Mike. It's not Summer Ray. That's like Eva Marie. Lana. Free mm -hmm. mode. No, it's more like Nikki. I will, and Bailey, you <laughs> know, along that Bailey's gotta be probably the most marketable mm -hmm. of the yes, I mean, as far as just you know, she's got marketability for days. Fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean yeah. the thing about Bailey though is that she needed a whole bunch of really good heels to 
get her as hot as she is as a face now. Mm-hmm. Like she had, she had the Charlotte during your back her. She had the feud with Emma. She had Sasha. And that's why she like that. But sometimes you there. need that help. You do need that help. And mm-hmm. I agree with that, Mike, but, and with that, he didn't drop the ball though. She didn't mm-hmm. drop it. She's like, embrace it. I am a lovable character. Let me just feed on that. So it's like, let's go into now uh, the uh, TNA. Okay, I am going to go for, yes, like Mike said, and Sword, EC3. One, I met the guy. Pretty cool guy. And I've seen his talent. He can go pro. He can go indie. He, he has the look. He has that full package look on his He's not just muscle. He has that wrestling skills. He he's good on the mic. He's everything that I'd want in my company. I'd want him as my champion. So uh, WWE. Hmm. This is pretty simple. I'm gonna go with the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. I always want a nut on my team. <laughs> and he's nutty enough to be the guy that, hey, you can love him, you can hate him, but you'll never forget him. There you go. There you go. What about you, Mr. Carlins? All right. Um, I'm trying to go off the off the off the, the uh, worn path here a little bit, but let, let me just start off this simple one. Uh, my guy from WWE would be Seth Rollins. Uh, adorable. Good on the mic, amazing in the ring, can cross over a little bit. Easy choice, right? Um, NXT, I'll take I'll take Apollo Cruz. Even though I haven't seen a ton, what I've seen of him since he got to NXT looks awesome. Athleticism off the charts, doesn't need a lot of bells and whistles. I will save on production costs that I would have had to spend on Finn Balor. <laughs> <laughs> Fair call in my pocket. Uh, TNA, I, I'm a little bit torn. I'm trying not to pick EC3. I, I'm deliberately avoiding EC3 with my TNA pick. Um, yeah, I should have made a caveat that none of us could pick EC3. No, no it, it's okay because, I mean, there are reasons not to pick EC3. I mean, I, there's so much of his character is tied to TNA. I mean, if you try to take him out of TNA, it gets a little bit tricky. So there are arguments to be made for why you would take somebody over EC3. I, I got one. I got a couple names I could take over him. I would take Lashley. Just to be that big monster, hmm. credibility, a little bit of crossover appeal, I think he could work. And, you have um, Lashley and Apollo Crews in the same fed? Yeah, I'm going to team them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vince. <Ben>. Um, <laughs> why not? Um, and from uh, Ring of Honor, I, I love Adam Cole, but I'll just be different. I will take Jay Briscoe. Um, who I think is awesome and who just exudes danger and toughness, which is always important when you're trying to convince people that what you're doing is totally on the level. Um, Jay Briscoe exudes real danger whenever he's around. So, oh, and by the way, just let me cut in real quick. Uh, you know, having having met Jay Briscoe, that is Jay Briscoe. There is no, <laughs> there's no gimmick. There is no hype. There is no hyperbole. The man you see. You know, there is the same person you see backstage. It's a camp. When we, uh, uh, I can't remember which camp it was, but it was a Ring of Honor camp. He walked in. He was one of the coaches, and he had a stalk of raw broccoli in his hand, <laughs> and he's taking chunks out of it as he's giving us instructions and telling us what to do and how to, uh, you know, where to be aggressive and where, and just raw broccoli uh, the entire time he's talking to. <laughs> And there was a part of me that's like, is he fucking with me? Is is this? <laughs> <laughs> and then and, and and after real, no, that that's him. It is one hundred percent Jay Briscoe's Jay Briscoe. Wow. Oh. All right. Was that everything, Matt? <laughs> that's it. All right. Uh, so we have a lot of responses in the chat room. Real quick, Buddy Landell 
Uh, says uh, WB John Cena, TNA, EC3, ROHJ, Briscoe. There you go. Uh, Garza from the WrestlingRevolution.com, WWE Cup and Owens, NXT Sami Zayn, T- well, that's actually evolved now, right? Uh, it's TNA, <laughs> TJ Perkins, ROH, Adam Cole. I would call it 2011 PWG. <laughs> Why not? There you go. Eamon, Big E, uh, Biggie Langston, and see he puts the name back in there. Uh, Bailey, EC3, and Ray Rowe. Mm-hmm. That, that's Ray Rowe. Good one. It's a good yeah. one. Uh, Riz, uh, Kofi Kingston, uh, ACH, EC3, and Asuka. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. And I think that's. Oh, here we. Go. Garza says realistically he would take Sasha Baylor Styles and Eddie Edwards. Styles. Uh, AJ Styles. Oh, the from Ring of Honor. General- That'd be the. I mean, I I, I kind of consider it. I don't really. Cons- I can. Cons- AJ's kind of a free agent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's yeah. wherever he wants. Can we to throw go. a New Japan on here as well? Oh my God, yeah. that oh, would be. I should have oh, thrown. I should have thrown, thrown in Lucha. <laughs> uh, four is oh, enough. Yeah. Four is enough. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think about that. Uh, hashtag WMS Big Question. If you uh, hashtag WMS Big Question on Twitter at Mayhem Show, you have a chance to win well, Bloody Harvest 2015 and see that incredible uh, Jason Gorey, uh, Sanjay Dutt, and Amazing Red three way match for the.